Dean Lewis back in the studio and we were telling you just before noon if you got a gift over the Christmas holiday that you just didn't like or don't know what to do with it it's okay we've got Dean here to kind of help us navigate what we can do with that so Dean how are we going to do this well you know this segment is so timely because yeah. we just finished this huge seasonal gifts of Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa all of it yeah. so we but we do realistically we do know that sometimes there is a gift that we receive that might not be a match mm -hmm. or you know it just needs to find a new home okay but you know these are sensitive issues so we want to make sure we're don't ever want to hurt people's feelings sure. or anything like that but the bottom line is there are about five things we can do okay. with a gift that's needs a new home mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. say that there just you go. Needs, I like a new, that needs a new home <laughs> okay the first is donation okay i am a big fan of donating especially if it's to schools uh, civic associations hospitals uh, churches mm -hmm. there is always an organization there's always you can get an organization that will take um, donations mm -hmm. um, and that's also a tax write-off too so go. that's that's a, a good one sure. um, keep you can always keep it mm -hmm. just make sure that you're aware that you should you know if you have those friends over that have given you something <laughs> or family mm -hmm. you might want to pull it out yeah. um, you can also um, return it yeah. And it was uh, great, Rachel had just mentioned that be careful though with returning mm -hmm. because sometimes there are those restocking fees. Ooh. And you know, you lose, you know, a, a little bit of, of, of the value. Sure. Um, and then there's also regifting. Okay. I am not a fan of regifting. Oh. And that is because you've really got to keep track with who gave you uh -huh, what. Uh -huh. And you don't want to be in your circle of friends or your family <laughs> a year later and they're going, hey, wait a minute, I, I, gave, you gave, you, that. I gave you that. So the, the big focus today is going to be talking about um, repurposing. Okay. And that's what we do at RVA Antiques. I yes. mean, we repurpose, we give things a new life. Yeah. So I wanted to show you a couple of things, Candice, that, um, that, yeah. that would work. Okay. These are simple, just decanter bottles. Okay. Okay. We probably, you might have some of these, but let's say you're not a drinker. You don't really know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. I put these in our bathrooms for mouthwash. Oh, fancy. Dude. It's just, but that. it's nice. It's just, you don't have the, just the plastic bottle sitting there. Yeah. You can use this for mouthwash. Another thing is if you have an overnight guest, uh, chilled water in there for them with a glass. How fun. Great way to repurpose and reuse yeah. um, in your home. Love that. Um, this is something I actually did recently. We got an orchid. Okay. In a very simple uh, white uh, container mm -hmm. when, of course, the orchid died. I was say, where's the orchid? Uh, exactly. <laughs> it didn't make it. But um, I thought, you know what? We have very simple, clean, um, subway tiles. It's that clean look, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? Let's use it oh, with all the, kin uh, the kitchen utensils. Yep. It can also be used uh, on your desk for your writing instruments, sure. things like that. So this is a great way to repurpose. Love that. And you've got everything right here ready, ready to go. Beautiful, great idea. I love taking napkins and okay. making pillows into them. What? So you can get like if you have a bunch of extra napkins laying around, uh -huh. take a nap, take two napkins, sew them or have someone sew them for you, yeah. stuff it, and you've got a nice pillow. Dean, you're so creative. Instead of just shoving these up in the um, cabinet or a drawer, right. and I mean, and these are nice linen napkins. Yes. So. And then one thing, Candace, that I think is really cool, mm -hmm. at RVA Antiques, we sell vintage t-shirts. Oh, fun, yeah. I think it's fun if, I don't know about you guys, but I open my drawer and I've got like 75 t-shirts. Of course, yes. Take those t-shirts, cut them up, make a quilt Aww, with the them. And yeah, yeah, and just, you know, it's just something that you can do um, to repurpose your t-shirts. Dean, you are rocking and rolling with these ideas. These are all great. I, I will have to say, I think my favorite one 
is the mouthwash or the cold water with that. Like that is, I would have never thought to use that for that. And then you've got like a nice fancy bathroom. You know? Sure. You, you've leveled up your bathroom just with that new container. I mean, I had a lady recently that came in and put uh, M&Ms and Skittles for oh, her fun. kids. Yeah. But I think you have to be careful with, because these are glass. Uh -huh. And um, I did want to mention also, Candace, sure. that uh, I think as we get older, mm -hmm. and I'm getting older, uh, <laughs> well, we all are. We, we, st I started this year telling, and last year, friends and cl close friends and family, look, I've got everything I need. Yeah. Why don't we do this? The best gift is time. Yep. T I M E. Mm -hmm. Why don't we, you know, go to a movie together? Mm -hmm. um, possibly go for a walk. Go to Lewis Ginter. Yep. You know, go to the museum. Yep. Get have, dinner. Have, or yeah, and yeah. that way, spending time together to me, it's the experience. It's more meaningful. Mm -hmm. um, not that gifts are not appreciated, and we don't want any any of the viewers to feel like we're, we're not saying that. Sure. Gifts are wonderful, but also remember, sometimes people just have everything. Yeah. And they just want to spend more time with you. And Dean, you couldn't have said it better. Like, that is exactly what, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So look, guys, this isn't the last we'll see of Dean. We are going to see him, is it in two weeks? or is it Yes, next week? Candace, we're coming with vintage jewelry and vintage handbags. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Coming up. RVA Antiques coming up. <laughs> so thank you so much, Dean, for taking the time to speak with us. We'll be right back. Thank you, Candace. <laughs>